Rudy Giuliani was a contestant on the game show, The Masked Singer. Okay, hasn't aired yet, uh, but you know, Giuliani out here fiending for a paycheck. All right, the guy's mm-hmm. not an attorney anymore. He's not gifted in anything else other than lying for Donald Trump. But this story is quite interesting and I'm going to lay out the signs. We should have saw this coming. Rudy Giuliani, when he was unmasked during this game show, it's really a game show. Um, he comes out the costume and some of the judges, they left in protest. Let's put up a picture of some of these judges. When they saw Giuliani, some of them actually left, Robin Thicke included, left the stage of protest. Um, others did banter back and forth with Giuliani. They, everybody eventually returned, okay? But here's the thing, mm. Giuliani actually has a long history of being in entertainment. No, I'm not talking about the tap dance he does for Donald Trump. I'm talking about the guy has literally been in show business, being a clown in many different ways. Uh, Let's put up some of the costumes we have seen Giuliani in, yeah, all right. Oh Man. Or how about this time when Giuliani was with Donald Trump? Mm, I like that. This this may be the best of all. Oh, you dirty boy, you, oh, oh. The worst I mean, that's comedy. A-list. That's A-list stuff right there. Um, also, uh, just a reminder of all the clownish things he did before this clownish thing. Here it is. Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, Nevada, and Arizona. It's Rudy Giuliani, Trump's lawyer, quote, reaching into his trousers and apparently touching his genitals while reclining on a bed. Excuse me, you're interrupting my reading of this book. In my time, we had a name for men who sold bedrooms for one night. In your time... The name is Terry McAuliffe. So the president did bring up uh, Joe Biden on the call. Maybe he didn't bring it up. The only thing I ask about Joe Biden is to get to the bottom of how it was that Lutsenko, who was appointed, dismissed the case against Antac. So you did ask Ukraine to look into Joe Biden? Of course I did. You just said you didn't. Wanted to grab his, what do you have, five stars, 10 stars, 12 stars? He has so many stars that are coming up into his ears. I wanted to grab his stars, shove it down his throat and say, it's 400 miles from China. Did you all watch My Cousin Vinny? Did, you know the movie? My, it's one of my favorite uh, law movies because he comes from Brooklyn. Um, Giuliani is a case study of white privilege. Okay, please believe that. Now, let me tell you why this story is important for us to highlight. Let's put aside the ridiculous element of him singing in a costume because he needs a paycheck. I want to take this deeper to the element involved in getting him the job. You mean to tell me that producers at Fox said this is a good idea? Remember, he's banned from Fox News, but he's able to go on a game show that's sponsored by Fox, right? He's being investigated for multiple things, including seditious conspiracy, the attempted overthrow of the government. We know that he has had his law license suspended because of his continued lies in the media. He has been adversarial to democracy. He has been pro-terrorism, but he still is able to somehow land this gig that pays him money. Now listen, the guy deserves to make a living, that's fine. I I just don't care how he does it outside of in the public sphere. He does not deserve places of honor, nobility. He doesn't have to be a celebrity. But this shows you the consistency of the white supremacy ideology. Remember the privilege is real here, I guarantee you, If a black man, black woman, brown man, brown woman, somebody of Islamic faith, if they were being investigated for trying to overthrow the United States government, they would not get invited on a game show. I guarantee, I guarantee you they would not have these opportunities that continues, that continue for Giuliani. But it shows you the reality of our world. 
My dear sister, what are your thoughts about this? I mean, the silver lining is I assume he was pretty easy to spot because the mask was, you know, more of a hood, uh, <laughs> white, uh, really easy. And then when he took oh it off, God. I'm sure they were like, no, 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 take off the mask. No, no, take take off that mask. They were like, ah, Giuliani. I mean, look, when Robin Thicke, who was accused of groping a model on on the set of his own like uh, music video, if he's the one who's walking out on you. Like you, you have no moral yeah. center left. Like, come on now. So, you look. I think it, you're exactly right that it is chilling that right now we're in a moment where Fox and other entertainment industries are just going to rehabilitate anyone from Trump, who once again is a product of reality television, thanks to NBC, thanks to The Apprentice. People would yeah. not have known him. He would have stayed a joke back with Giuliani making those dumb sketch videos, right? But then he gets The Apprentice and reality TV has an impact. It does matter that The Masked Singer, I know it seems ridiculous. It matters that it was Sarah Palin or Rudy Giuliani. Mm. Number one, they're, you're right, they need money. Giuliani can't get his legal fees paid by Trump at all. But number two, we're rehabilitating people who tried to overthrow American democracy, overturn an election, openly right. lie, like openly try and admit that he conspired against a presidential candidate by trying to, to manipulate another country into digging up dirt on him. Yeah. I'm sorry, you don't get to fail up like that. But as you're, as you say, um, the entire Trump presidency and cabinet. I mean, really, it is like, it's a testament to white privilege and white supremacy right there. The fail sons who just fail up again and again and again. Yeah, well said.